What's going on, folks? Coach Jerry Seymour here, Running Back Academy. I'm here to shed some knowledge on these young running backs right now that's kind of coming out of the season, and they're trying to get recruited by colleges, and they just kind of, you know, don't know what to do at this point. And I kind of want to inform them on when they're sending their film out to different colleges or college recruiters, whoever it may be, on how to set up their highlight tape. There's a there's a method to the madness, okay? Um, I, a lot of kids send me a lot of film um, through Instagram wanting me to evaluate them. And a lot of times when I'm watching their film and the way they set it up, I mean, it, it, it kind of throws me off a little bit. I watch the whole film, but to a college recruiter or a college coach that's looking at your film, they don't have much time and these athletes need to understand that. So I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to set up your highlight tape when you're sending it to coaches, okay? Okay, so the first step, what you have to do is clean up your social media. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you're out here sending out your film to college coaches and college recruiters, and they actually take some interest in you, the next thing they're going to take a look at is your social media. Because they need to see I mean, if I'm going to invest time in trying to get you looked at by a college, or if I'm going to invest my money in to bring you up to my college, i got to see what you're like off the field, okay? If you're not a highly recruited guy, you know, that's with the exception. Some guys are just highly recruited. They can they get away with some things. You know, when all everybody's not blessed like that. So the first thing you need to do is clean up your social media. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay, so the second step is the first play has to be your best play. I don't care if it was the 12th grade year, 11th grade year, 10th grade year. It has to be the best touchdown that you scored in your high school career. Okay, because you got to understand, like, I get filmed all the time through Instagram. And guys are like, yo, can you evaluate my film? Can you evaluate my film? And a lot of times their first play is like an eight-yard game where they broke like two tackles. And everything in me wants to just turn it off and go to the next because I have so many films to evaluate that you know you have to you have to put up something that's gonna wow me right off the bat. You have to do something that's gonna keep me in my seat and say you want you want to know what I, I need to see more of this kid. Like I gotta see what he's gonna do on his next play, on his next play, on his next play. So your first play has to impress me right off the bat. If it doesn't impress me, I'm just gonna click the exit button and I'm gonna go to the next film. That's just what it is. Okay, before we move to the next step, let me show you what my first play was on my high school highlight, okay? Check this out. Okay, cool, so this is the first play that I chose to kind of set the tone for my highlight tape. Um, reason being, obviously you see I'm jumping over people, cutting across the field, cutting back, cutting back again, and this is what I felt like, okay, let me send this off. When they see this, they're going to go crazy, okay? So this should give you an idea. So for the third step, what you want to do is you want to put all your touchdowns after you put that one big play up. So you have, so your highlight right now is that first play that you've had, which was the, the wow touchdown. And then next, you want to put in order all your touchdowns that you scored, whether it's just your senior year or your so senior, junior, sophomore, you know, you kind of figure it out. You know, if you score 47 touchdowns your senior year, you don't need to go in your junior year. If you score like six and you want to pull some from your junior year, your sophomore year, that's cool too. You know, and you definitely want to put all your touchdowns from largest to smallest. And also, if you're running back, you caught some touchdowns, add those in there too because you want to show a recruiter your versatility. Okay? So, and when I say from largest to smallest, so if you had a 90-yard touchdown run or catch, put that up there first. And then you keep putting them down, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30. And then that one-yard touchdown that you had, put that at the back of the line, okay? Because we want to show that we're still explosive, and we also want to make sure that the recruiter, when he's watching our film, that he needs to see that we can score touchdowns, point blank, period, okay? So that would be your third step. Okay, so for the fourth step, what you want to do is you want to add all the big plays that you made that were more than 15 yards, but that wasn't touchdowns. Because what's gonna happen is you you already put all your touchdowns up there, so there's no more touchdowns left. Now what you wanna show the coach or, rec or the recruiter is that look, I can still make big plays for my team, okay? Whether it's catching or running. So yeah, I didn't score a touchdown, but it was a big play for my team. I'm able to move the chains, or I'm, I'm able to, 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 to make an impact on the game somehow, some way, even though it's not a touchdown, okay? So that would be your fourth step. Okay, so your last and final step is all pass blocking. You have to add some pass blocking in there. Even though some of you guys don't like to block, you much rather prefer not to block, but when you play college ball, you're gonna have to pass block. And what pass blocking shows a recruiter or a, or a coach 
is that three things. This is what pass block is showing you, especially if you're doing a good job at it. It shows that you're tough. You're not afraid to stick your nose in there. Secondly, it shows that you're selfless, that you know, you're willing to do anything for the team. And third, it shows your accountability and that the quarterback or the officer coordinator can, can count on you to step up and make a block on a blitzing linebacker or block that DN, okay? So that's what pass blocking shows a college recruiter or a football coach. So do not forget this important. I know it's last, but it's very, very important that you add some pass blocking on there to kind of show recruiters that, look, I can run, I can catch, and I can block, baby. The holy trio, the holy trinity, whatever you want to call it. All right, so that would be your last step. Don't forget, if you have any questions for me, you can email me. You can put a comment below in the comment section. I would love to answer any and all your questions. But this is the process, man, on how to get recruited. You got to understand, man, like if I'm a recruiter or I'm a coach and I have thousands of film to watch and you send me and I, and I turn on your, your, your highlight and the first play is a six yard game. I'm going to hit the, the exit button faster than you can think because, look, I got so much film and so many players that I got to evaluate. I'm trying to find that home run hitter. I'm trying to find that guy. So if you set up your highlight the way I told you to structure it, you should be in there. You should have a great chance, I promise you, because what's going to happen is it's going to, it's going to show this, this recruiter or this coach that, man, this kid can play ball. You know what I mean? Just by structuring your highlight a certain way, it's just going to make it look that much better. But this is Coach Jerry Seymour with the Running Back Academy. If you guys have any questions, I already told you what to do. But I look forward to sharing more information with you guys. Stay blessed, man. 2019, happy new year, happy holidays, all that good stuff. All right.